G'day everyone, I'm Ben and this is Counterfeit Christianity. Super glad to be here. Take a peek in the description. I've got a Discord chat there if you just want to come and have a chat. I also got a website where I'm putting together, hopefully it's up by now, that there'll be a website where there's a bunch of different options that you can come on and choose whether you would like to have fortnightly conversations, like every two weeks, with me, group conversations with me as facilitating, or there's also going to be an option for one-on-one -on -one conversations if you would like to chat with me about anything specifically. I am doing this stuff because I want to build an actual community around this channel because I, I think that a lot of people who are on this channel who have subscribed to it are people who would like to find something that is real and good, the way that God designed us to be. Our creator designed us to be in relationship with him, communication with him all the time, and then have that same joy relationships spread out around the people that you come into contact with, especially like it says in the book, your neighbor, and that means your family and your actual neighbors, not randos that you come across. But when you have joy, that is spread very easily through random people that you come across as well. But this old idea of the neighbor in the book is the, your people. Who are those people? How do we be relational with them? And how do we spread joy in sort of inside of our groups, inside of our communities, our actual communities, not the community that the government tells that we have. That's all bullshit. But our actual communities, our actual people. We'll be talking about that, trying to get some understanding around that in those groups. And yeah. I think that'll be really, really fun. So have a look down there if you want, if that's interests you in any way. I just want to talk about this idea of knowledge one more time. I do it, I have done it many times, but it's come up again in my life. And the reason that I talk about stuff on this channel is when it comes up to me again. And it has come up again, this idea of knowing things. So I think that the way that this world controls you and this world is all owned by Satan and the other systems, all religious systems, and people sort of get offended when I don't name them. If I just say Christianity, I talk about Christianity because that's the place that I came from, but all are religious groups. So Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, well, there's probably shit tons more, Hindus. Every single one of these people are controlled by a system. Every single one of these religions is evil, absolutely controlled by the demons. You can't just say, oh, my religion, Christianity, is controlled by the Creator. Is in It's not at all. All systems, if you go into them, separate you from authentic relationship from our Creator. I have a feeling that they all started off from people who were in connection with the Creator. And then they go and move into these other things. And they're also started off from groups of people that were worshipping the other gods, like Satan, Baal, Ishtar, Molech. These are the other gods. They have many different names. But they started off from those sort of things as well. So they come from many different places, but a lot of people all throughout the world, all over the world, throughout all of time, were with the Creator. And you don't have to be a Christian to be with the Creator. I believe that the way that they control us in this world is by telling us things that we must know. And so... Every system that we have is built by all the systems that we live under now are Rockefeller systems. These systems and our education system and our religious systems, they've all been taken over by this sort of way of thinking where the people before you tell you what to know. And in every group, that's what happens. So in your religious groups, they tell you what to know and they tell you what is true and what is false. They say, this is true. This is false. Anything outside of that, anything outside of our rules, don't go near it because it's dangerous. And the way that our systems work in Australia, our politics, our governments, all of those systems that are in control by those. So basically the word government means lead a group of slaves. Govern means to control. And so the government controls the slaves. That's basically what it is. In Australia, that's what we are. We have a different sort of culture in Australia. I noticed since I went to America and Thailand, America and Thailand, they have a bunch of rules, but people don't follow them. The thing with Australia is all Australians lean into that idea of being governed, of being controlled. And the government here, the group of people that control you, the way they do it here with fear. They say, do this or else. And everybody in Australia is a slave, even more so than other places. And so they do exactly what they told to do by their controllers. And they also commit that against other human beings. For an example, I saw on a Facebook group, there was a group of young kids selling lemonade on their Facebook group. And then some evil motherfucker got on there and, and said, do you have the right registration for that? Do you have a health check by the government, by my controller, by my daddy? And like, that's the sort of people that you come across in Australia. These absolutely evil motherfuckers. They're actual demons. These are 
heart, mind, body, and soul demons. But that's what happens in a st in a slave state. The slaves actually control the other slaves. It's because they tell you what to know. They tell you what is good and they tell you how to live. So anything outside of that, you cannot comprehend. That's you being a good slave. I used to be like that. I used to be legalistic. I used to want to get people for doing injustices. That's because I was a Christian and that's what Christianity is. It is me being angry that our creator is okay with that person and they're going to get to go to heaven. That's the biggest thing that Christians have a problem with is that people other than them get to go to heaven too because they're so angry and selfish. They want to burn all these other people up in hell for what they've done, what they've done, right? But they won't look at themselves because it's very difficult to look at yourself. I understand it. I can explain it this way because that is what I used to be in. And all the Christians that you talk to are always like that. You can see it in the comments. They always do it. They always do it because they're enslaved. Their mind is enslaved. They are indoctrinated. Every single system just builds off the other. <laughs> they all work together. And church is the state and the state is the church. And the church was built by the state. <laughs> Yeah, there's no difference. Christians like to think that they're different. They're not different at all. They're just thinking inside of that slave mind that they've been given by the government, by the people in charge. They always want to be told things by other people that's right and good. If other people can jump in line with what they define as right and good, then it's okay. They'll be fine. But the way that they absolutely fuck us over in this world, we're absolutely fucked because we know things. Everything that we know drags us into hell. Absolutely everything. We're in this world of lies. Everything that I've been told my whole life was a fucking lie. The way that my parents brought me up, they did that because they were told to. Previous generations knew not to do that. And then they tell us not to even drink our mum's milk. They tell us to drink this other formula and eat this food. It's all a fucking lie. They get us from the very beginning. They indoctrinate our, our generations before us, slowly but surely, and they tell you what to know. We know this, so you do this. That is the way in every single thing. I think it's really dumb to think that you know something. If you know something, you can never move on from that. I've said that before. You know this, and that is the way it is. I used to be like that. I used to know everything because I was told what to know. And now I'm the crazy one, right? Everyone thinks I'm a fucking psycho because I suggest all these what ifs. But I think that's the way that we're designed to be. We aren't designed to know things. And then when we know things, and especially in this day and age of everything right at your fingertips, you ask a book, you ask Google, and it tells you what to know. And this next generation, in, in one more after this, they'll have them wholeheartedly. So. I know that's not going to happen to everybody because there's always people on the outside that don't fit and who are always going to fight back because those are the people who are connected with our creator. I just wanted to encourage you with that today. Try not to know things. I like to say the only thing that I know is that I know my daddy. I know who the creator is because I, I'm in conversation with him. I have a connection with him, an actual connection. And it's really, really fun to live that way because I can just flow. He can tell me what's good every step of the way. And I can live in joy through that, through a real authentic relationship with him. And and that is pretty much the only way that I know how to be <laughs> because that's, he, he told me that. I didn't, I didn't figure it out on my own. So like always, this is my understanding. I don't know shit. Go look in the description if you want to jump on the website and have a look at what I've got there. And if you feel like you want to jump on one of those groups, jump on there and we'll start having real conversations. I, I, I really want to do that. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys and I will uh, see you next time.